come back and joining me on my YouTube channel, Supreme Comics Girl. And if you're new, welcome to the crazy house. So I have watched uh, within literally one sitting about two days ago, uh, a really cool magical-esque uh, Harry Potter-esque kind of in a way, a uh, series called Fate the Winx Saga. Now, I didn't know until after I had watched this because you know how you watch something new and then you go on and you Google it just to be, you know, a nosy person and see, you know, the cast members and yada yada. And I realized that this is actually based off a cartoon animation for children. Now, I haven't seen it and it's actually called The Winx Club. And they are basically fairies that have magical powers. So that's what I'm going to be talking about in today's video, a Netflix series called Fate the Winx Saga. Now, the animated series that this is based on, I have never ever watched. But from looking at photographs on images on Google, it looks very, very childish-esque. Very maybe like uh, five years old or maybe six years old for kids to watch. Anybody who's, you know, parents of children out there that have kids or anything, you can let, let me know what type of age it's for because I've never, ever seen it. So I will obviously only be talking on this, which is the live action adaption of that. So I have no idea how true it sticks to it, guys, haven't a clue. Now, on to talking about this series. Now, I really, really enjoyed this. My plan the day that I watched it was to actually find like a comedy movie, you know, just to sit and have a bit of a laugh. And I was just scrolling through and I find this Fate the Winx saga. And I thought, oh, is this movie, what's this about? And then I seen this girl with like um, her hands and she could create um, fire. And I was like, oh, that's really, that looks like magic, like a magical kind of show. And I thought, oh, that's really, really cool. So I thought to myself, this is something that I, you know, would maybe be into because I like Harry Potter. I love fairies. I love Tinkerbell. I own all the Tinkerbell movies apart from the Never Beast because I never really liked that one. But it is so, so cool. And the lead character in this is called Bloom and she can create fire with her hands and everything. And um, she is pretty much the focus of this series now there's only one season out on netflix so far there was six episodes i think there's meant to be a season two and it certainly leads into where it's left off where there has to be a season two so i really hope netflix um does continue with it and doesn't be silly like what they did with the dark crystal and cancelled it after um like the first season so basically um this girl bloom is a fire fairy she can create fire and uh, I'm not ruining anything because this happens in the first, very first episode and she didn't know how to control it though. So uh, one, one night she was using, you know, like the fire and it went into her parents' bedroom and, you know, it caused really bad burns to her mum's arms. Um, and but they, they didn't know that. They didn't know that, it, you know, it was her that caused that. So she wanted to learn how to control her powers. So she then went to this, um, like, school, uh, like a boarding school, but it's more like uh, it's a school for uh, fairies with special powers, basically. And they, uh, you know, learn you how to get better at it and all that there sort of thing. And she wanted to go because she didn't know how to control it. But she pretended to her parents that she was going to school and studying something in, like, Switzerland. Um, so when she was on the phone she was always pretending that you know she was in this room in Switzerland or what have you but um, I absolutely loved this series uh, all the, there's all these different fairies there's one called Aisha and she can she's a water fairy you know very much like you know in Tinkerbell the way there's like a water fairy um, and she created this like ball of water and then these like other two or three balls of water outside it and it was just so cool the visuals I have to say were very very good for this, for Netflix, I find the visuals were fantastic and they weren't overkill. They didn't really use that much special effects. They only used them as and when they were needed. So this isn't something that's like overkill, you know what I mean? But you kind of feel like, you know, you know, in Harry Potter, you know, they're walking about the school and everything. And it kind of seems kind of like that. So if you like Harry Potter, you know, you like magic and you like magical things and Tinkerbell and all that sort of stuff, magic, uh, The Witcher even, you know, uh, that Netflix done, I cannot wait for the next uh, season of it. I think you will really, really like this. So basically they're all put into like uh, this room where they're all sort of together and like one bed's here, one bed's there or what have you. And there's a girl called Musa in this and she is, what's the word? 
uh, empathic and she can basically feel other people's emotions so for example if you're feeling sad if you're feeling anxiety you know um hatred anger what have you she feels it she knows it and there's this girl in it called tara and oh my gosh she can create like you know plants and flowers and everything and she is hilarious uh the main character bloom who is the fire fairy and tara are my two favorite characters because it's very much very much focused on bloom which i will get to you in a minute uh but back to tara this character that creates like plants and stuff the fairy she is absolutely hilarious because she reminds me so much of myself and um, she's just really chatty really like bubbly and always like chitty chatty and it's hilarious because she goes over to this girl music and she's like look you know like look we're going to be spending all this time together in the same room we may as well get on and everything and she had this little flower that she'd made and she was like oh i want you to have this and everything and she's very very um like a caring and thoughtful kind-hearted person and she doesn't mean any harm she's just like me she just never shuts up and uh muse is like um yeah and she's like putting her headphones on and everything and she thinks that she's just wanting to ignore her, but it's not it's just that all the time she's hearing all these other people's thoughts like this person's anxious this person's angry this person's sad this person's what have you so she kind of does that to drown it out and kind of have a bit of downtime you know a bit of me time to herself so this series um is very much based on the character bloom that creates the fire and um she can do it she knows she can do it and she has done it because obviously you know her mum's arm got burnt but she doesn't know how to um control it like once she sets the fire off she doesn't know how to control it and it's very much focused on her whole story and around her family and i don't want to give anything away because this is a non-spoiler review no spoilers but it's all about um her learning things about her past history about her past about her parents about how she grew up um all these different things of emotions and the other characters are sort of helping her with that and that's one thing i will say is it was very well written and it was a very very good storyline for this season and it definitely ended where we're leading in the another one and there's villains in this called uh the burned ones it, it, it either sounded like they were saying the burnt ones or the burned ones but it sounded like burned as in b-u-r-n-e-d the burned ones and i don't want to give anything away because they're they're the villains in this uh series basically that go into their world and uh they the visuals of them were really 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 cool and one thing i will say is that this character i forgot to mention bloom that can create fire she only found out very recently um before she went to the school that there was another world she didn't even know there was another world that there was such a place where you could go and you could you know use your powers and you know become better and uh yeah th I, I don't want to say too much um in case i ruin this uh but i really love aisha the uh water fairy i love tara uh it's hard to kind of decide between who's my favorite between bloom and tara because uh bloom's very much the central focus uh of this and i don't want to say much in case you know i give it away or whatever but it's magical, it's cool, it was an easy watch. I watched it in one sitting, I watched it all within the one day, one afternoon, like two, two three days ago. And uh, Tara makes me laugh so much because she just is such a bubbly character and she doesn't stop talking, she's just talk, 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 talk. <laughs> but I would highly recommend this, honestly. I mean, I mean, I'm 33, like, and I'm going to be 34 in, like, April, and I love this, and this was supposed to be based on, you know, a children's, you know, adaptation, so I would definitely say I'm massively looking forward to season two. I would say if you're into, like, Harry Potter, I mean, I own all, all the Harry Potter movies. I've been to the Harry Potter uh, studios in London, uh, the Warner Brothers studios in London, and it was, oh my gosh, it was so magical uh and i love all the tinkerbell movies apart from as i say the never based and i love the witcher and i have all the novels of the witcher by andres sapkowski the polish writer and uh, that series on netflix was brilliant looking forward to the next season as i said earlier so if you're into it i mean that i'm just saying i'm into all those kind of things and like fantasy and stuff so this was like a fantasy sort of like series i would say magical fantasy series um, I would highly recommend this 
and I just thought it was so cool when they were using all their powers and everything. And yeah, I was really, really loving this. I just couldn't help myself. I was just like, cup of coffee, next episode. Cup of tea, next episode. Mocha, next episode. I'm obsessed with mochas. But anyways, guys, that is all I wanted to, to come on and say. I just thought it was a really great series and I would highly recommend it on Netflix. It might in um, 2020. Now, I don't know exactly when it came out, but um, I was just flicking through Netflix the other day and I seen it and I thought, you know what, I'm going to watch this. So I really hope that Netflix doesn't make the same mistake that they did with The Dark Crystal and just leave it at one season. Um, even more so with this one because it ended where we're leading into something happening. So we need to have a second season. And if we don't, then that's just it's going to be really stupid if you rewatch it back again and you go to the end of season one, you're just like, oh, yeah, that's right. They didn't do a season two. Do you know what I mean? But this is the type of season that I would definitely watch again. Like maybe in like a year's time or something like that. Maybe around like Halloween or something. I would rewatch it again because that's how much I enjoyed it. I was invested in the characters and I was invested in the storyline and I was invested in everything that was going on. Visuals and everything were great, but they focused on the story and they didn't let the visuals be the forefront of this series, uh, Fate the Winx saga. So if you have watched it, please let me know all your thoughts and opinions below. Or if you or if you have children, if you have seen the um Winx Club animation and do the characters look like a good depiction of the characters that are used in this uh, series, this live adaptation. Um, let me know guys and thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!